coming to theaters near you. A new film by about a that dialogue missing with with cameos by um, actor missing. Also, preview missing. Blah. 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 Buggy Blah. What the hell? Yeah, I'm bored. Me too. Uh, what are we gonna do? I don't know. Um, hmm. Wanna play a game? Sure, what game? I don't know. Oh, I know. Let's play Toss the H-Bomb. Yeah! Whee! <laughs> Mm. 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 Mm.
Is it me or is this movie making less and less sense? I think it is. Then why are we watching it? I don't know. I think we're watching it because it doesn't make any sense. Oh. But that doesn't change the fact that this is crap. Nope. You wanna watch some more? Yep. Hmm. Floppy block. Yeah. Yeah. This is your onboard computer system. We are about to crash. What do you want to do? Uh, I can't decide. Staring prevents accident. Well, yeah, but, uh... Do you want to crash? Well, not really. Then maybe you should steer. But I'm bad at that. Do you want to crash? Well, not really. It's just that... Well, that was stupid. It was that guy, some kind of kamikaze type person? Well, at least he wasn't a watermelon. A watermelon? You mean like a kamikaze watermelon? <laughs> that was a kamikaze watermelon. What's next? <laughs> What's gonna happen now? I don't know. Another kamikaze watermelon? <laughs> yep. Oh, Juliet. Oh, Romeo. Catch. Cut! Nah! Juliet, for the last time, do not do that! Sorry. Ugh, bring out the Alto Romeo Maker. <laughs> Poof. Okay, we're going to try this again. Now, really, don't do any more bomb throwing. Okay. Oh, Juliet. Oh, Romeo. I am um, a... Uh, must... Is, uh, <laughs> must... Not your bomb. <laughs> ah, Juliet! Stop it! I can't help it! Uh, bring out the auto Romeo Maker again! <laughs> ah, what happened now? It blew up. Ah, uh, I don't care who's Romeo. Somebody be Romeo! So, how many times is the world blown up now? I think about two. Yeah, that sounds about right. Hmm. Ooh, a tidal wave. Splash. What the hell kind of tidal wave was that? Mm. What the hell? Today, on the underwater world, we explore the territory of the dreaded bubblefish. It is dark here, so we can only see shadows. Now it seems as though we have found the bubblefish. We are close now, when we shine the light on it. Oh crap.
Did you knock off that face? No, it wasn't me. Then who? It was him. Who? Ziggy Boogie Dook. Ooh, an ant. Wait a minute, that's not an ant. Ziggy Boogie Dook. Not again. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing alright. Well, you know what? Wait a minute, it doesn't matter what I'm doing, because somebody's just gonna run in and say Ziggy Boogie Dook any second now. But you just said- Wee, this is fun. Oops, I accidentally pushed the H-bomb button. Wait, why the hell would there just happen to be an H-bomb? You have to be quiet. Yeah, otherwise we'll never find the Kamikaze Watermelon. Wee! Oh no! Ziggy Boogie Dook! Ah. Insert Ziggy Boogie Dook here. Today, on the underwater world, we explore the territory of the dreaded bubblefish. It is dark here, so we can only see shadows. Now it seems as though we have found the bubblefish. We are close now. When we shine the light on it... Wait a minute. That's not the bubblefish. It's that stupid bomb. I refuse to shine the light on it. No, I refuse to shine the light on it. Ziggy Boogie Dook. Oh, Juliet. Oh, Romeo. Oh, whatever. Cut! I got that, but... No, oh, I'm not even gonna say anything. You, you be Romeo. Uh, Romeo? Romeo? Uh, where are you, Romeo? Here I am. You're not Romeo. Ziggy Boogie Dook. <laughs> Hello, I'm Guy Blackston, and this is the QRRBRBIRLBEL News. Our top story tonight, the sudden outburst of several nuclear explosions- It's pronounced nuclear. Uh, whatever, nuclear explosions have been exploding everywhere recently. We go straight to the scene with our top news reporter, Boing Loing. Incredible. We also have with us in the studio Professor Blah Blasson, who is a specialist in this type of phenomenon. Professor Blasson, what do you have to say on this subject? Blah. I couldn't have put it any better myself. Now we go straight to the scene again, where we have a live interview with the one and only Ziggy H. Bomb. Ziggy Bomb, you have been accused of being the one largely responsible with most of these nuclear explosions. What do you have to say in your defense? Ah, uh, Ziggy Boogie Dude. <laughs> oh crap, that's gonna be broadcast all over the world. What do you have to say in your defense? What do you have to say in your uh, defense? What do you have to say I don't get it. Why is it that every time somebody says Ziggy Boogie. Oh, sorry. Why is it that every time somebody says the Ziggy words, there's a nuclear explosion? Ah, uh, it's pronounced nuclear. That's what I said. Nuclear. Ah, uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. I think they're about to explain it. <laughs> nope, I guess not. Oh, wait. They're gonna do it this time for real. Hey, have you ever wondered why saying the Ziggy words causes a nuclear explosion? Yeah, I have wondered why saying the Ziggy words causes a nuclear explosion. Why is that? I don't know, but we should find out. Hmm, but how? I've got it! We'll go to Mars! Yeah, that's a great idea! I've got a rocket! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go!
Let's go. To Mars. Yeah, now we're finally going to figure out what Ziggy Boogie Doo means. Damn it, this scene is taking freaking forever. Let's go! Hey, look, there's Mars. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, look, there's Mars again. Let's go. Let's go! Hey look, there's Mars! Again! Let's go! Yeah, we're on Mars! And now we can finally figure out what makes saying the Zika words cause a nuclear explosion! And nothing's going to stop us! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, wait a minute. We're not going through that whole thing again. I'm going to fast forward. Poof. What the hell? Ah, oh, you fast forwarded wrong. Let's go! Nah, I'm gonna fast forward correctly this time. Excellent. And now we're finally going to figure out what makes saying the Ziggy words cause a nuclear explosion. But how? <gasps> What's that off there in the distance? Let's go. What is this thing? Is this what makes it so that when you say the Ziggy words it causes a nuclear explosion? I don't know, but I can find out by using a Ziggy causer. Ziggy boogie dude. Gasp! 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 Look at that! So that's what does it. Alright, we know what we have to do. We're going to destroy this thing. Alright, let's do this. Ziggy Boogie Duke. We did it! Alright, now we can say Ziggy Boogie Duke as much as we can. <laughs> ah! Even after they fixed the whole thing with the Ziggy words, it still blew them up! What's going on here? Yeah, whatever. <laughs>
Wait a minute. I'm just getting signals saying that there is an extra racer on the track. And it is Fubi the Kamikaze Watermelon. He's going for the wall. He's going. I think he's going to beat race car number one. And he made it. And here comes race car number one. Yeah. Yes, race car number one has crashed. And race car number two yeah. has missed the wall completely. It's going. It's going. And it has yeah. crashed into the random H-bomb. Wait, wait a minute. Hey, you just pushed the Make the World Blow Up button. You know what? This movie sucks. I just don't get it. I mean, now the world's gonna blow up because a blow up the world button just conveniently popped out of nowhere so I could step on it, so now the world's gonna blow up. So this movie really does suck. It doesn't make any sense. In fact, furthermore, the person who made this movie is a complete jackass. Uh. Ah, that giant meteor is gonna crash into the planet. <laughs> Super blah, can you do something? <laughs> sure. Halt, evil meteor. I command you. <laughs> happy end? What the hell is happy end? Yeah, I don't know. Hey, how many times has the world blown up now? Ugh, more than I'd care to count. At least I don't have any words they can say to make the world blow up. Leave snag zip. <laughs> Ugh, I stand thoroughly corrected. You know what? It would suck if an airplane randomly flew out of the sky and crashed into us. You know what? It would suck if a large generic wad of cash were randomly to appear right in front of me that I could do whatever I wanted with. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Oops. Haha, yeah. <laughs> it takes more than that to beat me. I am Super Blah. How are you doing, my dear? Ah! Screaming won't get you anywhere. Actually, I'm screaming because my head's about to fall off. What? Ah, crap. Somebody bring out the auto damsel maker. Hold on a second. Excellent, and now I can continue with my evil plan and I'm up. No, no, don't put back the auto damsel maker. Bring it back over here. Poof. Finally. Um, is your head about to pop off? Uh, no? Good. So, how are you doing, crazy scientist, blah? Well, everything is going just fine right now. Very good, but remember, Super Blah will be here any minute now. Well, that's okay, is it? Uh, what? 
Sorry about that. What I meant to say is that I don't think Super Bowl will be a problem because we've taken many adequate countermeasures against him. For example, I've put up many devices that will probably impede his progress here. Good job. Nondescript henchman number three. Is the generic damsel ready? Yes, yes. Excellent. Turn on the weird evil machine of doom. Excellent. Where the hell's that music coming from? Somebody shut that off. No, that's good. Uh, boss, what exactly does the evil machine do anyway? Uh, I'll get back to you on that. Generic henchman number three. Begin the evil process to the damsel. Okie doke. Um, uh, no, uh-oh. Ugh. Alright, bring out the generic damsel maker again. Ugh, stupid piece of crap. Can't tell the difference, they said. Can't get any good evil machinery these days. Oh, I'm here to stop you. Uh, actually, we're not quite ready for you yet. Can you come back in a few minutes? Oh, okay, sure. Oh, thanks, idiot. Poof. Oops. What the hell are you doing up there? Sorry. Poof. Okay, we've got a new generic damsel. Finally! Begin the evil process! Excellent! Glad to get that taken care of. Can we start the evil process thingy now? Not so fast. I'm going to stop you. Yay! It's Super Bowl. I'm here to save the day. Good for you. Where'd all these people come from? I don't know. They sort of show up whenever Super Blah shows up. Ugh, more problems. Um, uh... Oh, oh, oh yeah! Stop Super Blah! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Bling bling, do something! Curses, you can do better than that. That's it, begin operation something thingy. Alright, what the hell does that machine do? Doesn't matter, I'm going to stop it. Oh yeah, that. And now I'm going to stop you. Yeah. Go super blah. Oh no you don't. If you come after me, I'll drop the damsel into the pit of despair type stuff. <laughs> That's right, if you do anything, I'll... Aw, oh, crap, I don't even care anymore. Somebody blow up that auto damsel maker? Sure. Yeah! Idiots, what the hell was that? Yay! And now, finally, to stop you. Oh, no, you don't. If you want to defeat me, you must read that sign on the wall over there. Oh, what, you mean the one that says grr Oh, uh, no, the other one. Oh, you mean the one that says blah. Gasp, gasp. 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 <laughs> I have defeated Super Blah. No, nothing can stop me. I will take over the world. I am invincible. <laughs> I can, um, uh, uh, what, what, what the hell are you doing here? Ziggy Boogie Duke. Um, uh, what was the point of that last scene? I don't know. I mean, it was just one big anticlimax. Yeah. Hey, dude. Nothing's happening. Hey, yeah, you're right. I think the movie's over. Oh. Okay. Wait a minute. I just had a really nasty thought. So far, we're the only people in the movie that haven't gotten killed somehow. Hey, yeah, that's right. How do you think we're gonna be killed? I don't know. You're no help at all. Yeah, I know. You know, I haven't moved my hand from my cheek this whole movie. Yeah, I haven't moved my hand from the chair arm this whole movie. Wait a minute. My hand is stuck to my cheek. Hey, wait, my hand's stuck to the chair. What's going on? I don't know. Oh, crap.